Oh, the Dallas Cowboys. Other than my beloved Chicago Bears, it's probably not an organization I enjoy at times taking liberties with and at times poking all types of fun at them than the Dallas Cowboys. And the reason being is many fold. But the bottom line is, is by and large, this organization deserves it. The epitome of overrated. The epitome of of mediocrity, the epitome of stupidity in terms of how an organization is run from a football standpoint. No question about it. When you look at the Dallas Cowboys, you know, it's been 18 years since they were a Super Bowl team. 18 years. Yet somebody in charge still thinks he's doing a bang up good job. And there are even those Cowboy fans that every year have that undying faith and optimism that somehow this is going to be the year. Wake up, Jerry Jones. You are an idiot who is clearly in over his head as a football executive. Wake up any Cowboy fans that have any delusions of this team contending for a championship anytime soon. It's just not happening. And one of the many reasons for that is because of Jerry Jones's incompetence in running a draft in recent years and just overall in general. When you look at their recent draft history, you sit there and you look for hits. Okay, he had a couple of them in 2011. I want to give him credit. Tyron Smith, uh, the first-round pick, the offensive tackle out of USC, has been everything you could expect out of a high first-round draft choice. They got a guy like DeMarco Murray in round three who, when healthy, is a very, very solid running back at the National Football League level. But where are the other hits? Where are the other successes? They just aren't to be found because... What you have is a general manager, a team president, an owner who is in over his head, who clearly doesn't understand how the draft process works, and what he ends up doing is he ends up reaching on a lot of guys, and he ends up with a lot of misses. Kyle Wilber, Matt Johnson, David Arkin, Tyrone Crawford, all guys in those middle rounds where championship teams are really truly made, they're all misses and big misses at that, and when you look to try and figure out and find out why a Cowboys team has some star talent but lacks quality of talent all around, lacks depth, and when people go down with injuries or leave via free agency, they struggle to replace them, and as a result, the Cowboys continue to toil in that cycle of mediocrity. Here's why. All these misses. And then question marks. Guys like Bruce Carter, former second-round pick. Is he going to ever step up and become a big-time player? A guy like Morris Claiborne, who they moved from 14 to 8, or 6, excuse me, back in 2012 to take, he's been nothing short but a big disappointment so far, and he's getting close to that bust territory. You have a question in Travis Frederick, who played all right as a rookie, but you ultimately took a center out of Wisconsin at the end of round one who graded out by pretty much everybody else as a third-round pick. Is he ever going to truly live up to that first-round status? A guy like J.J. Wilcox, a safety you took out of Georgia Southern in the third round this past year. When he did play, one very good. Lots of questions, lots of misses, very few hits. Typical for a Jerry Jones uh, period of time in the draft. Now, when you look at them in their position for the 2014 NFL draft, you would say, hey, in theory, they're not sitting that badly. They've got a total of 11 picks. But in typical Jerry Jones fashion, six of those picks are in round number seven, which over the years has not exactly been a, dra a round or a period of the draft where Jerry Jones has done all that well. Sure, you go way back and you look at the guys like the Jay Ratliffs of the world, who was a former seventh-round pick, uh, but I believe that was during the Parcells era. So we'll give more credit to Bill Parcells than we will for Jerry Jones for that. You've got a first, a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and then seven six-round picks. I think about that. Seven of them. A few of them compensatory picks, so you can't even trade them even if you wanted to. Uh, in terms of draft strategy for the Dallas Cowboys, look, I can sit here and come up with all these clever things um, and all of this and all of that. But the bottom line is until Jerry Jones is locked out of the war room and all of his cronies are locked out of the war room, excuse me, and real football people are able to run and assemble a real draft board and a real NFL draft, nothing's going to ultimately change for the Dallas Cowboys. And part of what I talk about when I talk about the stupidity of Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys after many years of running the 3-4 defensive scheme, they decided after the 2012 season they were going to switch to Monty Kiffin, who was in his early 70s, and switch to this Tampa 2 cover 2 system, even though for so many years their team had been built and drafted for 
um, with the 3-4 scheme in mind. So, of course, you switch to this 4-3 defensive scheme, clearly lacking the personnel to run this scheme on the defensive line, the linebacker, and the secondary. So what do the Cowboys do as a result? They spend their first three draft selections in this past year's draft on offensive talent. Guys like Travis Frederick, guys like Gavin Escobar, guys like Terrence Williams. And that's not even necessarily to sit there and say that all three of those guys won't be solid, productive NFL players. You saw examples of where that could be the case with guys like a Travis Frederick and guys like a Terrence Williams. You know, they could be productive NFL players and they could be long-term starters for the Cowboys. There's no question about it. But what happened to the Cowboys? How much did Frederick and Williams really play a role? At the end of the day, the Cowboys missed the playoffs again, and the reason they did is because they switched to a 4-3 cover 2 defensive scheme when they clearly didn't have the personnel to run the damn scheme. Their defense was terrible on so many different levels and is a primary reason why the Cowboys missed the playoffs. So when you look at team needs for the Dallas Cowboys for this 2014 NFL Draft, number one is a new general manager. Until Jerry Jones steps aside and lets a real football person actually run a war room the way it's supposed to be run and gets a real football person running the football operations, nothing's going to change. It's going to be more of the same old mediocre garbage year in and year out, period. And you have almost two decades of history that clearly bear that out and clearly prove that. They need a new general manager. And until they get it, I guess the rest of it doesn't really even matter. But operating under the assumption that Jerry Jones can't be a completely incompetent nincompoop when it comes to running the football operations, which is a very strong assumption to say the least, they need to draft personnel to fit their 4-3 defense this year. Yes, they signed Henry Melton in free agency, but they still need another impact defensive tackle opposite him. They need guys at defensive end that actually fit the scheme that they're trying to run. Not trying to put DeMarcus Ware there, not trying to put this guy there, not trying to put that guy there. They need guys that actually fit the scheme that they're fucking trying to run. They also need help at safety. Their safeties were very bad last year, and I don't know if they got a really good safety on that roster. If they do, please let me know, because I don't think it exists. One of the things you need to be is strong up the middle in the cover two. They've got it with Henry Melton. If he can stay healthy, they've got it with Sean Lee. They need to find that impact player at safety, that John Lynch type, that Bob Sanders type, that Mike Brown type that they just don't have on the roster. On the offensive side of the football, they could use some help at running back, getting a bigger physical presence to complement DeMarco Murray and step in in case he gets hurt. They could use some help on the interior of that offensive line at the guard positions. So there are needs abound with the Dallas Cowboys, in part because of Jerry Jones' incompetence of running an NFL draft room. No question. Do I think that the Cowboys are going to do the right things and go in the right directions? Oh, hell no. I wouldn't be surprised if Jerry Jones spent two of his first three picks on offensive talent in this year's draft, even though clearly all of the needs are on the defensive side of the ball. Leave it to Jerry Jones, though, in a year where he should have addressed the defensive side of the ball early and often, which was last year, to go offense, offense, offense with his first three picks. Now, in a year where the offensive talent is far superior to the defensive talent in the first three rounds of the NFL draft, now Jerry Jones is in a position where he has to go defense, defense, defense. So for all we know, he could go offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, 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 offense. Who the fuck knows? I don't even think Jerry Jones fucking knows. The only thing that we do know is that he's an idiot.